Hughes always describes straight supper Ravi as Shiraz on steroids or Shiraz struck by lightning. Over the top. Knocks his socks off. So it's a bit of a covert operation. He is a mad cyclist <laughs> until you meet him. Yeah, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Wonders in Black. We're on our way to Hugh Hamilton Wines in the McLaren Vale, South Australia. This is going to be the best. Hello friends, we've just been to Handorf. What an amazing experience. We only had an hour, but we've got so much beer into us and we've got some snacks. And now we go into McLaren Vale and we're going to Hugh Hamilton for some wine tasting. You want to see what it's like? Let's go! It's only early morning, but we already had a strong start. Now, for our first time, we are visiting this renowned winery, Hugh Hamilton. Apparently, this place is famous for its black sheep, so keep your eye out. <laughs> nice. Now, for a bit of history. Their story spans six generations. It's a tale of a relentless spirit, pioneering winemaking, and the love for a land that it's in their very roots. <laughs> the black sheep experience is known to be extraordinary as he is the master of a most reprobate range of varieties from the classics to the most eclectic. Welcome drinks for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So these are our non-alcoholic cordials which we make here. So the red one is Shiraz. The larger coloured one is a musket cordial. Whereabouts are you all travelling from? Melbourne. Nice, yeah, awesome. Brilliant. And how long have you been here for? One uh, minute. Lovely, great. Yeah. So the first stop for today? First uh, yeah. So we'll get started then. Uh, the Scallywag, I know is named after one of the grandchildren. <laughs> is your modern approach to Chardonnay? Is a crisp white wine. The Scallywag. All white peaches, oak, bay and lemon leaves. A touch of vanilla and sage leaf. Absolutely tasty and definitely Moorish. By the way friends, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and leave a comment as it will help our channel grow. Thank you. Yeah. The three card Monty. Ah, uh, so you have the three card Monty? The textured palette is heavyweight, matches with smoked barbecue brisket, or pretty much anything big and hearty. And the black ops. Great flavors, bold, brooding, and intense. So both blends. Uh, one from our dark nuts range and one from the exotica range. It's all about experimenting varieties together that Shouldn't have, shouldn't have worked together, um, should have been experimented in the first place, often made by mistake, but have worked. This place is definitely a must for all you wine lovers. We're next, you're in McLaren Vale region. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Well, I'll pour this next one then. Okay. Firstly, my favorite. Black Ops from our Exotica range. So it's a blend of Shiraz and Saparavi. The Saparavi, most ancient grape in the world, 8,000 years old. So they're from Georgia, uh, East Block of Europe. Cool, cool, cool climates. Really heavy. Hughes always describes straight Saparavi as Shiraz on steroids or Shiraz struck by lightning. Over the top, knocks his socks off. A 70% Shiraz, 30% Saparavi. And when blending together, Hugh didn't know whether the process would work. So it's a bit of a covert operation or a black wow. operation. He is a mad cyclist <laughs> until you meet him. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. The label itself is a nod to a Georgian tablecloth. What you need, kid? <laughs> <laughs> so from our members only range, you need to be a member to purchase this as it's our most premium Shiraz. Just misses out on Pure Black, which is our flagship Shiraz Separavi. So easy quintessential McLaren Vale Shiraz. That's a dark fruit, so a spicy French oak. And it's very young, but really, really smooth. Thank you so much. Pleasure. We're ending with a Shiraz called Ancient Earth. It's lush, it's rich, amazing. Let's give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> mm, actually, it's good. This has been a great decision coming here from Wonders in Black from McLaren Dale. And Nick, our winemaker, has always said the trick is leave it longer than you think. So there's really grippy tannins will settle over 10, 15 years. He's suggesting even 20 years or so if you can leave it that long. <laughs> the oddball to finish off the afternoon. Cheers. No, we're still carrying on. Oh, oh, oh. 
With each generation, the Hamilton legacy has grown, weaving new chapters of flavour, innovation and tradition. Thank you so much for watching friends and please join us again for the next episode where we discover more of McLaren Vale, one of the most renowned wine regions in the world. See you soon. Cheers.